Last episode was definitely the best episode for me of Assassination Class, but it's just getting started. I love how we've been introduced to this roster of characters, and now we're getting incorporated back with the main school. The principal has personal beef with these kids. These kids are being too well. He's getting they're, they're they're getting too popular. People are getting jealous of them. Nah, nah, nah. This guy is saying, all right. Fuck the assassination. I don't care about the inedible destruction of our world. We need to make sure that these dumbass junior high kids are put into their place where they belong. Let's begin today's reaction. Lame. He can tutor every single student personally at the same time. At Mach 20. That's crazy. Okay. And, and like the midterms also will probably not be standardized, but like everything, he makes personal question banks for each kid for what they need the most, right? <laughs> Naruto. Naruto. And one Naruto. Is he actually gonna get tested on Naruto? Like, his little question is like, all right, what, was Haku really a boy or a girl? Like, 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 what, is it just gonna be Naruto trivia? That's funny. Like, if he's talking and moving and thinking at Mach 20, like, can these kids even fucking understand what's happening? <laughs> What is resting outside? Wait, really? What, for like a fraction of a second? Okay. Uh-oh. Nope, I was modern logging. Alright. Remember, Tuesday. We're gonna do all the openings. Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> Who cares about playing the Rubik's Cube? Just break it apart and just align the pieces up. I, yeah, I guess that makes sense. I mean, is it the most logical approach? If you're trying to actually win the Rubik's Cube, you gotta play within the rules, but if you don't care about that shit and it's just only to align it, then yeah, maybe. Kunugigaoka Academy, Kunugio oh, that's a school, right? Asano Gakuho. Alright, there is the goat. Here he is. Is he is he that good of a character? You guys seem to really like him in chat. <laughs> a slight raise in my salary, please. I'm fucking broke. Paycheck, paycheck. I need my snacks. Alright. 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 He was supposed to be what? How heartbroken you must be to have sought to become the savior of the world, yet you need to play the villain role now. He wanted to be the hero, but he has to play the villain role? This goes back to like whole, like, eh, uh, like when that girl researcher told him to like teach those kids, but, hmm. Uh, I can't really piece out the theory enough, but at the end of the day, I feel like he is being the hero by uplifting these kids with the threat of, you know, being the villain. Yeah, I mean, he's a super logical person. He also knows that, like, yeah, this, this superior monster thing there's no way I can beat it. There's no way we can, you know, prevent him. But like, still, he has such fucking logic. And he expects 3E e kids to be able to do it? That makes no sense. Why would a person with superior logic and rational thinking ever expect that a bunch of outcasts could assassinate this 
super monster octopus thing. Or maybe he's calling out his bluff that he thinks that there's no way that Koro Sensei would destroy the world because he sought to be the savior but is now going to be the villain. Maybe he's also calling the bluff. Paid me. Is that a high five? Mm. Next year and beyond might not exist. Hmm. Like, this guy's reasoning is we need to keep Koro Sensei. What would happen? If someone does happen to kill you, what will happen to the school? Dangerous creature assassination orders. Got a cocky sensei posing as the president. Yeah. The worker and principal. I'm not familiar with it, but I'm gonna assume that this is basically the the whole like uh what's the word? Like uh the framework. His exact ideology of having like a marginalized group, you know, be looked down upon and for human creatures to like thrive off of that. Okay. Hmm. 20. Good. 20 bad. 60 average. But let's just make fun of the 5 and the 95 are constantly at the threat of being demoted. Must therefore must work hard. Huge. <laughs> That's society, man. It's straight up. That's society. You go outside and you see homeless people. You see other people struggling. You don't want to end up like that. You're forced to fucking achieve value in this capitalist society. You need to be, quote unquote, successful, right? It keeps the fucking worker monkeys like us. Where at the end of the day, this is how I truly view us, the working class. And like, even a person making like, let's say, they're like a content creator, very successful, and they're clearing like, what, like three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars a year? Still, I feel like we're all just livestock. We're all livestock fed into the system to produce GDP for the super, super upper elites to just control us like we're fucking like puppets, bro. The ideal ratio. And what happens if the 5% were no longer weak and pitiful? What happens if they actually were uplifted through the sensei and show that they're more capable than the 95? Then suddenly that wouldn't really be 100% productiveness because now the 95 are, they have no threat. See, <laughs> all right, you know what, to me, I think that there's definitely some truths and wrongs for these ideologies, but hear me out. If I was the principal, I might play with the same system, but I would not keep the 5% in E-class just strict. I would give them an opportunity to uplift them. Now you have a system where, yes, the 95 will always be under the threat of being demoted, but the 5% also wants to work hard and get back in and then like a new cycle. I, I feel like at least it's still cruel, but it gives them like a chance of survival rather than it's like, that, that's it, you're done. You're forever going to be mocked of and made fun of. That's Nagisa? <laughs> Why are the bullies fucking all cute and kawaii, bro? What are these eyes, man? What are these eyelashes? Don't do my Nagisa like that. Being pointed at other kids. Woohoohoo! What would you do? I mean, of course, we're not going to actually fucking assassinate the kids. But, like, I, I think that intimidating and letting them know that, like, hey, don't fuck with us, that's totally fine. But, like, what would the principal do? Just expel? Okay. And then the kid can just go to a different school where they're not discriminated against, where they can dream of a better future. Sounds fucking good to me. Did he do it? 
でもスピードで解決できない問題もあるんですよ。私はこの辺で。Like, don't get cocky of your Mach 20 speed and reason of thinking and doing stuff. There are ways to take you down. We should ask this guy how to assassinate Koro Sensei. <laughs> I feel like this guy would come. Yeah! I feel like this guy has the answer. He's a super logical person. Yeah, he would fucking cook up a plan so well. <laughs> Maybe? Here's the theory the reason he's so cocky and he's fine with delaying the assassinations is because at any given moment, if he wanted to, he has a plan to get rid of him. But there's no point in doing it now. You know what I mean? Like, could he have already an absolute plan where it would happen no matter what? I could believe it. You don't actually care. What is this fake ass smile? That's the, the switch up, bro. <laughs> he's just, damn, he's not even trying to fucking hide it, bro. Cold. 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 The principal. Bureaucracy, bro. I love this, bro. The power scaling on this guy is unreal with the fucking dust and the, the fucking pedals flooring and Sensei's on the fucking ground right now. <laughs> you gotta fight as a teacher with the rules here at the school. Damn. <laughs> Number one. I don't know, like, it feels like we lost. It, it feels like Principal got the better of us. Koro Sensei's on the ground, down for the count. <laughs> He's really determined. Okay, let's see them frames. I don't... Is the, the guy back here, there's an anime about food, gourmet food. I forget the name. It's not Food War. Toriko. Yeah, 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 yeah. Toriko. I, I see his hair. I see that Toriko cover picture. Yes. Anyone else? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like a lot of these characters are like Shonen Jump characters. Just trying to recognize any other Shonen Jump. Oh, this is Kurosaki Ichigo from Bleach. I don't know who this guy is. Is Goku around here? I don't know. What is this guy with the purple band? Oh, I, saw, I saw Goku for a second. I saw, I saw Goku. Yeah, Goku's over here. I also saw Naruto, I think, with the headband. Holy shit. There's a lot of Koro Sensei, bro. Holy shit. This is fun, though. Trying to see, like, every frame. Yeah, the talk with the principal got him riled up. We gotta score it better than possible. For you guys. Students glazing. Wait a minute. Local well endowed college girls. Okay, okay. This, this is not the girls in our class. Okay, well endowed college girls who've heard of him. <laughs> That's a problem. This 10 billion yen bounty on his head does create this like illusion for them where it's just like, yeah, who cares, right? Just gotta kill him. Why bother trying? That bounty is working against us. No self respect. They've been beaten down to the ground. Uh oh. We're gonna get corrected. Sensei mad. 
急に校庭に出ろなんてどうしたんだこの先生そう E 組のシステムのうまいところは一応の救済処置が用意されている点だ中50位に入りなおかつ元の担任がクラス復帰を許可すればだがもともと Oh, so there is an opportunity. Before I mentioned that, like, you know, I think that I would have like a hybrid system where there's like an opportunity for you to get back in if you do, right? But you gotta receive the permission from the former teacher, which I think would be rigged. They're not really set up for success, right? Like, quite often, like, that's like telling a homeless person just buy a house, bro. It's just like the environment that they're in just. You cannot get out of it. They just give up. But if you truly are a I don't know, in a fucked up way, imagine like amongst this five percent, like the principal believes that one percent of the five are actual winners and will not have a defeated attitude and will claw themselves back in. So we should be thanking the principal of like, oh, amazing person, bro, goaded. And with that mindset, then we have to just accept the harsh reality that some people in life, the bottom percentage, they were never gonna make it. They were doomed from the start. So they're used as a utility function. At least serve some fucking purpose if you're just gonna be losers for the rest of your life to make the other 95 and potentially 96 you know, have a reason to like be good, right? So instead of yeah, you know what? <laughs> Shit. The more I reasoned it in my head, the principal might be cooking, bro. Like some monkeys are just not gonna fucking get out of it, bro. They're fucking useless. So by using the system, they serve a purpose beyond just being monkeys. They're like, yeah, they're literal just sacrifices. <laughs> But they have worse grades, so they probably wouldn't study lol. But that's the thing, right? Of the 5%, they're all trash. They'll give up. But amongst that 5, maybe there's like a 1% that is truly not going to give up and work harder. So you create like a diamond out of this situation. And it's just like, that's winner's mentality that he's trying to fucking breed into them. I don't know. We need to have multiple plans. The second blade. Okay. Amazing, Karasuma. Like you have no backup plan, you're only thinking about 10 billion yen, but what if that doesn't happen? Sensei's right. Edgy, cool. But he is right, right? Like, I, and I, I think that, like, what Sensei's trying to really tell us is, like, his goal, like, at the end of the day, the assassination doesn't matter. That's not the goal here, right? The goal is for the kids to earn their, like, self respect back, to work harder and uplift them. But having this 10, mil 10 mil billion yen bounty and just simply assassinating and all your problems will be solved? Nah. That's just a childish dream, remember? Just like escaping, right? You're running away from your problems of your inferiority complex. <laughs> Principal. <laughs> Oh shit, the light from the sky is coming down. Yeah? He's just doing excavating? Landscaping? Oh! We got state of the art fucking outside gym equipment. We got a like soccer net? We got like a fucking playground over there? Yo, we got a whole track? Shit! Alright! Where'd you get the nets? Where'd you get the material for the soccer nets and shit? Who cares? Alright, so he's 
第二の刃いつまでに明日の中間テストクラス全員50位以内を取りなさい Let's get to top 50, man. 先生がすでに育て The first blade is assassination. Thank you, Eric, for the prime. So, the first blade is the assassination. But in case that doesn't work, the second blade is your academics and your skill sets to succeed in society. But none of that shit matters if he blows this world up. But that's the thing. He won't do it. That's just a simple fucking time constraint imposed onto us so that we have some urgency to work towards something. <laughs> Like, if you get top 50 of the school, and assuming there's like 30 kids in here, then like 30 out of Fucking 50 kids of the top 50, like that's just E class. And then everyone else at the, at the main school just look bad, right? Like, how's that gonna work out? This shitty teacher. Oh, that's funny. I thought we do our test back at our school, but we have to go to their campus and this one. I bet, like, I don't know. I, I bet that he intentionally gives like less time to complete the test to be unfair. And, and, and he's also doing this right now. He's trying to piss everyone off. Just shut the fuck up, dude. I'm trying to think. Bro, what are you doing? Stop fucking clacking. Oh, wait, Did they like make that? It's that's how rigged the math test is right now. The OA game, bro. Shonen Jump is just so creative in like making these scenes that are not like battle action scenes into battle action scenes, you know? Is question four that cooked? Square root of 75 minus square root of 12 minus 12 divided by the minus square root of 3 plus 3 times square root of 15. And then Jack, is it? Do, do they not have calculators? Like, is it, is, is like, like, is this? I don't know what the Japanese here says, but I, I, maybe it just says solve. Like, bro, what? It, 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 isn't this just a skill issue? Like, what the fuck? It is the most basic math I fucking see. Yeah, yeah, what the existence of square roots, maybe. You're doing, like, additions with fractions, sure, but, like... like <laughs> I don't know, man. If, if you can't, like, use a calculator, like, I don't see a calculator. Maybe if, if, it's all, if it's mental math, I'm cooked, right? If it's mental math, I'm fucking cooked. I can't do this mental math. <laughs> ダガー。本気なのって言って。はい。枝まで底辺の成績だったんだ。Okay. <laughs> Just a fish, bro, not an alligator. <laughs> okay, I have used my mental image to change this like alligator crocodile monster into a little fish. Now, how the fuck am I gonna do that math question? Is math that easy, guys? <laughs> Yeah, I, again, at the end of the day, it's just fucking imagery to kind of like teach us like it, it's about breaking down, stop panicking, break down the prop, the bigger problem into smaller components and work it up. I get it. I get it. But it's just funny. <laughs> I 
oh no, these kids are writing on their papers. What's going on? Because <laughs> up until now, no one was fucking writing on their paper. Now they're fucking doing it. <laughs> Yo, this teacher, bro, he's getting heated. What happened? What question fucked the sub? What happened? Question 11. It's only Karma and Nagisa left. What's question 11, man? Oh, this motherfucker probably said. He probably did some shit like this. He's like, all right, Timmy has five oranges. He gave away two, ate one, and then bought another one back. What is the mass of the sun? It's probably some that bullshit question, bro. <laughs> we're just like, wait, 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 wait. What do you mean mass of the sun? Wait, I thought we're talking about oranges. We're, huh? <laughs> This cruelty, bro. Alright, total score 315, ranked 105th. Oh, that's still really good. And that's still way better than what an E class should be performing at. Damn, bro, he got 68? That 68? Hey, that's the. Yeah, he, he fucking trashed. <laughs> It's interesting though how they showed him specifically though, huh? Because like I don't think this is like an insignificant character. I think that whatever his character are, because like he's the most like resistance towards all of this, right? I think that whatever they're cooking with, you know, Terasaka Ryuma is gonna be good later on. <laughs> like 30 minutes before the exam. Alright, kid, okay, this is question 11, and this is how you solve it. Everyone got the heads up, except us. Okay. <laughs> Do we have the material? What is the lesson here? That if you're not fucking rich and you don't have the resources, you simply will get filtered out? How fair. <laughs> Nah, Pro Sensei won't lose. He would lose, sorry, he would leave if the test was fair and we didn't, you know, we scored this bad. But I think that we did an amazing job for what it's worth. Koro Sensei? You disappointed in us? Yeah, the principal plays dirty. This girl reminds me of Horikita Suzune, just because she has long flowing black hair. That's it. Karma, what'd you get? Oh, Karma looks pretty confident. I think that he got 11, man. Karma Nani? <laughs> Lowest scores a 98. Monster. I mean, he is extremely quick-witted, right? He's extremely talented, but damn, bro. He got 11 without any help? Goated. Ah, true. Yeah, Karma was already super smart. Remember, he's not here because of trash grades. It's because he fucked up a teacher, right? <laughs> Yeah, you know, there's one person, you know, don't give up, Sensei. Your results, your your efforts was not betrayed. Karma delivered results, and it was an unfair test. Does he have a mom? I don't think so. That, that's probably like a very underhanded joke if you really think about it, huh? Just be like, I'm scared. I want to run home to my big octopus mommy. But I don't think he has a mom. You know, I think like he is a science made octopus like monster research experiment. <laughs> oh, he mad at that. <laughs> Oh, 
僕らは壁にぶち当たった B 組を取り心の中で胸を張った自分はこの B 組であることに And that's another episode of Assassination Classroom. Today's episode, following up right after the promises, the principal made, he said that I ain't gonna take this shit lightly. His intro section was very interesting, right? I feel like there's some really end game themes here with like how Koro Sensei sought to be a savior before, but it's really sad how tragic how now he has to be playing the villain, right? And the villain part he is playing simply due to uplift the kids, but like the savior. He sought to be the savior is something I don't truly understand, but at the end of the day, I think that he is a savior because he's saving these kids from the crutches of the principal. And the principal. There's a part of me where he seems like an evil piece of shit, but I cannot deny his logic. Maybe this is how other people feel when I say something that just like other people hate so much. But deep inside, they cannot argue against the logic, so they make personal insults. You know? That's, that's kind of how I feel about it, where it's like, shit, you're right. You're not wrong, bro. You're just an asshole, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> it is also really funny how he literally had a fucking prep class. Like, he like, like he had like a specific like lecture just for question 11 while everyone else wasn't participating, because that's the level of pettiness that he's willing to go to make sure that these kids in 3E will remain on the fucking ground. And then another interesting thing that I thought about today was like how he's a super intelligent and logical person, meaning this person would not risk the world to end simply due to his own courage with 3E. Or maybe he has realized that there's nothing that we can do, so why not me just live my best life until the bitter end? Or perhaps he does have a plan. He has a plan for Koro Sensei, and he could get rid of him at any instance, and the threat of the world blowing up does not matter to him. I think that also might make sense to him, but a very interesting character. While we didn't get into top 50, Karma's existence and his. His result has shown that sensei, like, your efforts were not betrayed. I did it, you know? I'm fucking different, but I still did it thanks to you. And for the... Well, the midterms are kind of scuffed. For the final exam, we'll get him back twofold. And things are looking better than ever. That's it from me. If you're still here and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.